Justin will be finishing up the last pass. Not quite full yet, so this field should all fit on my log. This one isn't doing quite as good. It might only be 30 or 35, and it's pretty light. But the guy that came and looked at our fields when we sprayed them for rust, he said this one was worse. So it has more disease. It's running 55 to almost 56, so not, not completely terrible. But time they get that done, I should be fairly well full. Then I'll head out and they'll move to the next field with the help of Michael who will probably be getting back anytime soon. I apologize about the wind if you can't really hear me. Uh, it's pretty windy today, but looks like they just got done. So they're gonna come dump the rest on me. And we got to looking, well, I got to looking while I was waiting. I think if this load can be anything around a thousand, this field might actually still make about 40, which would be awesome because I think everything else has made 40 so far. So it'd be pretty awesome if everything could make at least 40 bushel an acre, but it should be making about 38 or 39 if it doesn't hit 40, which is still pretty dang good. Because like I said, the guy that looked at these fields said this was the, by far the worst one with the stripe rust. So to still be making even 35 with the conditions it grew in and filled the heads out in, that's still pretty dang good. So we'll take it. to level load yet but it's a little heavy I think it could probably be making 40 just to see when uh, I get it in I'm gonna take the pickup over to where we're going to the next field because I think Michael is over there and then he'll bring me back so I can get this truck and take it in and then there'll be a pickup with tools at that field This next field shouldn't take too long. It's only about 50 acres, give or take a few. It might be closer to 48, but that's where we're moving next. And then after that, we'll move all the way south to our farthest south wheat field. And it's 105, so we won't be able to get that done today unless we can go a little later and things go good. But there is starting to be more people hauling in, more wheat getting cut, which is good that there's a lot of people hauling in means the wheat's still doing decent but i'll switch michael he'll take me back and then i'll take that load in and we can figure out how many bushels an acre that field made back of the truck i got it up. let's head into town That 50 acre field was too wet, so we came down to this 105 acre field. It tested below 7.8, so we cut out just a little bit. Yeah. We already got a decent amount of wheat in there, so that's good to see. Gonna have to watch out for that in the trucks. Still a little wet, a little muddy, but we're gonna get everything shuffled on down here. Try cut this field today. All right, everything is here at the field. Both trucks, grain carts, both combines. They're going around the field. I gotta say, 
this field is looking pretty dang good. Very thick. There are a few spots that's a little thin. I'll come out here a little ways to where it's just straight back and forth rows and show you guys just how thick this wheat is. It is a beautiful field of wheat. Can't even hardly tell where the rows are. This will probably by far be the best field of wheat we cut. This has always been one of the better grounds when we get the rain. When we get rain, it'll really produce. And it got some good rain this year. And man, is it showing. And it, so far, the berries look a little bit better than the other field. So that's also pretty good. There's going to be a lot of stubble here to plant Milo in next year. But even here on the turn rows, there you can see the rows. That's a sprayer track. Uh, Michael and I are going to stay busy in the trucks this field. That's a good thing. But like I said, that 50-ish acre field, I think it tested like 14 and a half on our tester. And our tester is normally a little lower than what it is. And dad said that it still looked like there are some green kernels in there. So that was still too wet. Brought his down here and the tester showed below 7.8. So it's pretty dry. So we're gonna cut it and it's Four o'clock. Co-op's been staying open till 10, but the last few days hasn't been the warmest and it's gotten pretty humid early on. So no one's ever went to 10 o'clock. But today, I think it's easily 95, maybe even 100 degrees. So if it can stay a little warmer, humidity can stay away, we probably could go to 10 and get a decent amount of this field done. Because with as good as it is, if it's all somewhat similar to right in here, they're probably going to be waiting on trucks every once in a while. We don't have too far of a haul, but there are a few more guys coming in. Lines are starting to get a little longer. They're still not having to wait much, which is good. But we'll just have to see how quickly we can get things done. All right, we've got a decent amount of this field done. I don't know how much longer we're gonna go. It's doing pretty good. I think the first load tested 59 and a half, mine tested 59 and a half, then the third load tested, I think 60.2. So it slowly got a little bit better and it's the first field to have actually hit the 60 pound test weight. Be sure to tune in again. We'll see you next time.